how's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade wine using grape juice. Alright, three things you need. Yeast, sugar, and 100% grape juice. I use Welch's because it is real 100% grape juice. Now, you can ferment it in the bottle itself. What you want to do, get yourself a glass and you're going to open up your grape juice. You can use white or purple grape. I got purple grape. Now you're going to just pour out a whole glass. And that's for you to drink right here. You need to empty out some of it in the bottle there. Okay, what you're going to do, you're going to take two cups of sugar here. I just gotten some sugar from the local little store across the street from myself. And you're going to pour it out into your grape juice. You can put more sugar in it if you want, just to make it a little sweeter, because the sugar is going to make it sweeter when it's done, but it's also going to make it higher in alcohol. So the more sugar you add, the more alcohol you're going to have. Yeah, I know I'm spilling some. You don't need exactly two cups, but around two cups is perfect. Take your lid, you put it back on your grape juice. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna shake it. Just when you thought you shaked it enough, shake it some more. All right, let that settle down a bit. If you got a sink, set it over top of the sink when you crack it back open. Just in case. Now, real 100% juice won't do anything, but okay. Now, this part is the part that starts the alcohol making process. What you got here is your yeast. Okay, this is what I'm using. This is the type of yeast that is best used for wine. Half tablespoon. Sorry, teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Okay. Give it a quick a little shake. Okay. Now within 30 minutes, it's gonna start making bubbles. They are gonna come up to make alcohol. It's almost instant on some of it. You can see them coming up a little bit. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. You kind of see in there. Okay. What you're gonna do? You're gonna take your cap. You gotta put it back on. The important thing is you don't tighten it down. You want it loose. You don't want it tightened because then it seals up the bottle and all that fermented, uh, all the gas is released when it's fermenting is gonna swell the bottle up and it's gonna explode. And you have a big mess. Okay, now we gotta go put this in the closet. We're gonna put it in the outside closet because my closet here is AC, so can't use it there. See you in a minute. Hey, how's it going, guys? So, earlier I showed you how to make homemade wine with grape juice, uh, purple grape, but my girlfriend, she wanted white wine. So, what you do is you're gonna get yourself some 100% grape 
grape juice. That is important, guys. Whenever you see the grape in front of it, it means it's real grape juice. It's not it's not that uh, fake stuff. If it just says 100% juice, it's fake. It won't work. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing like I showed you before. We're gonna open this up. You gotta pour out some. Now this is a smaller bottle so you don't have to fill the glass up. Just, I guess we will fill the glass up. When it's about at that height right there guys, that's perfect to add your sugar. And we'll set this aside, we can drink that later. Okay, I'm gonna make a funnel out of this. Oh, little piece of card over here just so I don't make such a mess. Yeah, I'm like Okay. Now you're gonna add your sugar. You're gonna wanna use two cups of sugar. And it's gonna add sweetness to the wine and the sugar's gonna end up breaking down and turning into alcohol. Don't worry about it if you're diabetic. Most diabetics shouldn't be drinking anyways, but the sugar does break down, turns into alcohol, so it's not like you're drinking pure sugar. Just add it in. Let that run out of the funnel until it fills up. And that's why you empty out, <laughs> out that whole glass. Okay, I'm going to take your cap, I'm going to put it back on, tighten down, you're going to shake. This is going to make sure you get all the sugar throughout the drink itself. This is the funnest part. Now the funnest part comes in a month when you're drinking it. When you think you're about done, shake a little more. You can never shake it too much. And you see how I got it, and it's throughout the drink. All through. And you just let them bubbles settle down right there. You gotta add your yeast. This is the yeast I'm using. I get it from a local store across the street. You can buy it at Walmart. It's more expensive at Walmart. It's like almost $6 a can at Walmart. Okay. Once you got your yeast in there, just do a little quick bump like that. Now the yeast is gonna start breaking down the sugars inside the uh, drink and the sugar you added. It's gonna turn it all into alcohol. The part we do now, just put the cap back on, but do not tighten it down. Because as it ferments, it's gonna build up pressure in there. And when you put it in the closet to ferment, it's gonna build up all the pressure and it'll explode. <laughs> so you don't want that tight. All right, guys. That's how you make homemade wine. That's how it's done. All right, guys. It's been 14 days. The red wine is actually ready. The white wine's still uh, doing its thing, but we'll get to that in about another five days. I am going to bring in Crystal, and she is the wine connoisseur, and we're going to try this wine together. Now, this is homemade wine, guys. Okay. You ready, babe? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Ready? Cheers to our first homemade Cheers wine. Cheers to, yes, our first homemade wine and her birthday weekend. I'm a little nervous because I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> oh my god, babe. We need to make wine and bottle it. It's so good. This is strong. <laughs> 
It's so good. And yet, it's not like bitter. I like it. It reminds me of. It's, it has a way different flavor. You know that sweet one? Um, it's sweet and it's alcohol. This is such a ladies' drink. You made a ladies' drink. Wine is a sophisticated alcoholic beverage that is made to be consumed. This is the Italian in me making wine. <laughs> this is good, babe. And it's, it's I'm surprised. Ready just My first time. time ever making it. Guys, follow, comment down below if you try this at home. Let us know how it turned out. This is so good. And I can't wait to have more. Like, Leave a comment down below this is saying all good wine, now. hashtag wine time. Hashtag wine time. <laughs> With a Y. Maybe that's what we'll name our wine with a Y. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Some fine rings that are different things, but we found love. And we found love.